Hi, this tutorial is for complete beginners, so I'm going to be explaining everything in detail, I'm going to cover it from start to finish, so even if you're not familiar with Blender, you will be able to replace the audio in your video. The first thing you need to do, of course, is to download the program, link is in the description for Blender.org, the official website, the program is completely free, you don't have to worry about paying anything. Download the program, once you install it, it should look like this. You may have a different picture here depending on the version of the software. The next thing you need to do is you need to go to this option here. Click on it, then select this video editing option. Then the Blender interface is going to change to this one. We have to adjust one more thing regarding the interface over here. Mouse over, click and select the properties option. Now we have everything we need in order to replace the audio file in the video. So once we have the interface adjusted, next step is to import the video file. To do this we go to the add option, go to movie, then here you're going to be um, directed to this window where you can navigate to where your file is. Mine is on the desktop, so I just click on the desktop option and here I have only one video file. If yours is located someplace else, you need to navigate uh, to that folder. Then select the file and just click add movie clip. Then I can mouse over here and turn the mouse wheel backwards a few times. This way I can zoom out to see the entire video file. Also I can click and hold the mouse wheel to pan around here. Just click, hold down the mouse wheel and you can pan left, right, up and down. As you can see here, I have two strips. One is for the audio and it's with this greenish color and one is kind of blue. This is for the video. In Blender, we select with the right mouse button by default. So right now these two are selected because once I import them, they're automatically both selected. If I want to deselect them, I click away somewhere around here with the right mouse button and you see these both will be deselected. If you are not sure which is which, you can click with the right mouse button on this to select it and you can see here the type, it will say movie. If I click on the audio track, you can see it says sound. So the way we remove the audio, just click the delete key once we have selected it and then click the enter key and this will get rid of it. Now I can add the sound that I want, going to the add here, sound, and again on my desktop I have placed one audio file, click on it, then click add sound strip, and now we have added a different audio here. What's left is to change the settings here in the properties window. The first setting I like to change is this display, to change it to keep user interface, this way the only thing that I'm going to see while Blender is rendering the video is a small bar here indicating the progress. If you choose one of these you may be seeing the um, you may be seeing how the video is rendering each frame and this can slow down your computer so I recommend using this option. The next setting I'll normally change is this render presets option. I'll go here and change it to this one. HDTV 1080 pixels and this is because uh, this is the size that I'm recording with and then I want to also export it in the same size I don't want to change the resolution so this is depending on what your preferences are the next option that I want to change is here the frames per second change it to 60 which is what I'm recording with make sure you check this if your phone for example is recording uh, 30 pixels per second make sure you select that I'm recording my screen with 60 frames per second and this is a video that I recorded for my Inkscape tutorials channel and that's why I'm selecting the 60 frames per second. The next option I want to change is this end frame here and to do this I want to see how long is my video and I can do that by clicking with the right mouse button to select it and going over here I can see the length. I can click here, select this and press Ctrl C to copy this number, then go here on the end frame, make sure this is selected again and then press Ctrl V to paste this number, enter key and this will adjust the length of the video, the length here of the frame range to 
the length of my video. Now there are other options that we need to adjust. Grab this and scroll down to here, the output. And we need to adjust which folder you want to uh, send your video to. I want it to be on my desktop. So I'm just going to click on the desktop again and click here to accept this. I need to scroll down again here. And next I'm going to choose this option, then this one. Then I'll select the encoding here, scroll down again, and let's see what kind of presets we have. I'm going to choose this option. This will give me a nice high quality video. Then here I can select the output quality and I'm going to choose high quality. Then make sure we go over here to the audio codec and I'm going to select MP3. Make sure you select this or select something here because otherwise you won't have any audio in your video once you export it. And this is pretty much all of the settings that I'll change. Then I can go back over here and click the animation option. And this will start exporting this video. You can see over here this bar is indicating the progress already at 1%. You can see here how this is going through the frames. I just finished rendering the video. I watched it, it looked great. One last tip I have to share with you is that once you finish with all of this, you can go ahead and close the program without saving and you will lose all of this here. And let's say five minutes later, you decide that you want to tweak something or maybe you notice something in the video that you want to change. You have to go ahead and uh, do this all over again, replace the audio file, adjust all of the settings. Instead of this, we can just save the Blender file can use the save or save as option. I already actually saved this, so I'm going to use the save as option. I'll select where I want it to go. For example, the desktop, name it something, let's say test two, and then click on save as blender file. And this way I can open this later, everything will be here and I can tweak some of the settings. For example, if I want to see how the video will look with another setting here for the output quality if I choose a lossless or maybe another encoding speed setting I want to test or I want to change the audio codec I can quickly do this without having to go through the entire process again. So that's it for this video I hope that it was useful if it was make sure to like it leave me a comment let me know what you think if you're new to my tutorials visit my channel for more and subscribe. That's it for this one, bye for now.